Hi everyone, today we are at West Chicago Community High School hearing from David Jennings. He is the winner of our teacher giveaway. He's gonna be sharing a little bit more about what he does and his passion for teaching. Let's go take a look. My name is Dave Jennings. I am an English teacher here. I teach uh, English to juniors and seniors and also a broadcast production class and a media literacy class. So I've been teaching now for 15 years. Um, I started uh, working in a middle school in Wheaton while I was deciding that teaching was the thing I wanted to do. I think I got into teaching wondering if it would be possible to be the kind of teacher I wish I had had. Um, I think I've come to see the weightiness and the specialness of what you get to do in a classroom with students now that I have my own students, or my own children, I should say. I think having kids really helped me reframe what it is I get to do with students um, in a way that's been positive, not only for them, but for me as well. When I'm, when I'm not um, teaching, um, I take pictures on the side. It's kind of a the videography component of what I teach turned into a photography thing outside of school, um, and it's become a side hustle, I guess, is what the kids call it these days. So. Uh, the photography piece for me started with me taking pictures of my own family um, and just kind of posting them socially. Um, and then a couple people just reached out and said, I like the stuff you take of your daughters and your wife. And um, they were like, would you take pictures for us? And I said, yeah, sure. Um, kind of felt scared and honored by that ask at the same time and then started to branch out. When people would ask, I wouldn't say no. And it just kind of turned into a thing where um, more often I was taking pictures for people who had just gotten engaged and former students and seniors and weddings and all kinds of stuff. So it's a super cool thing when former students reach out to you and say, A, like I remember you, but B, like I had a positive enough relationship with you that it'd be fun to have you come and take pictures at our wedding or pictures of our engagement or whatever. So it's just, I don't know, it's like one of those moments where as a teacher you kind of, you feel the soul hug, I guess. First of all, the Compass Scholarship amazing, like kind of came out of left field. My wife um, sent me a text I was teaching and she said, hey, if you get a voicemail from a Warrenville number today or a phone call, be sure to pick it up because it's, uh, it's going to be a, a pretty good news type experience for you on a Friday. Um, and so I went and I saw that I had already had one come in during my morning classes and I went and listened to the voicemail and my jaw hit the floor because that, that's an amazing opportunity. The first thing I thought of was how can I get some stuff for my kids that would kind of bring them back up to that competitive level. We're looking at purchasing some cameras and then also um, some audio equipment that would kind of give us better results when we go out to conduct interviews with administrators or people within the community. Um, right now we're just using the built-in on-camera mic, which is can kind of be awful. Um, and so to get some lapel mics and to get some shotgun mics, um, things that would just kind of enhance the production quality of what we're doing. I couldn't, I mean, Monday morning I, I went and told my students, like, you guys, this is amazing, this totally came out of left field, and I've never been able to say something like this to a class before, but we're going to end up with some gear this semester that is a gift, like, and it's, it's a super cool thing, so. I hope you enjoyed hearing from David and a little bit more about his story. We want to thank David for all that he does for our community and for his students. Keep a lookout for any of the other events or giveaways that we have at Compass. You can check out our YouTube page or Facebook or visit compmort.com. That's all I have for you today and thank you so much for watching. Bye.